Well, hello, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a day that I've not been looking forward to. Cannot lie to you. It's going to be one of those days. I literally just put the middle finger up at you. Sorry about that. <laughs> how are you all doing? Let me know what you've been up to. Anything interesting happened in your life? Mine's a bit all over the place, not going to lie to you. This is actually nearly, what day is it? Monday. Nearly a week after I got back from the wedding weekend, which was the last vlog you would have seen. I've actually done two flights. So I did a turnaround to Cairo, and then I did a layover in Stansted in London. I was supposed to start filming then, as I always say, and I just didn't. Didn't do much in Stansted apart from edit the vlog and sleep. And then I got back, when did I get back? I got back yesterday morning, yeah. And then I was supposed to start this vlog then and do a wasted day didn't get to do a wasted day because I slept most of the day. <laughs> and then I set my alarm really early this morning. I was gonna wake up at 7 a.m., have a lovely morning routine, go to the gym, come back, sort out my life, get my meals back on track and all that fun stuff. If you cannot read the time, it's 20 past 12 and I'm only just starting my day. That's, um, it's not good, but we're gonna make it work. So I turned my alarm off at like 7am this morning and I was like, oh, just five more minutes. Five more minutes turned into four hours. So yeah, safe to say I'm very rested, but could definitely do with more sleep. You will eventually see the mess that is going on around here, but if you flip back two vlogs ago when I was packing to go away for the weekend, you'll know that I had washing on the maiden that I was putting away. Yeah, no. It's still there. Yeah, that's got to go away today. That's just of reality in there for you. I've got four shoe boxes down there of new shoes that I bought. I've got two suitcases in my bedroom from the trip just open on the floor. My work suitcase definitely needs emptying. <laughs> and I've got a lot of washing to do. Today is going to be a little reset day. That is the longest intro I think I've ever done to say I'm having a reset day. But today's a reset day, okay? I also need to find shoes. I think they're in that suitcase. I feel like I'm all over the place. I'm going to the gym. Mm, I've not been in the gym in I think two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks. And I remember saying that I wasn't gonna continue with my PT, I lied. I tried it, didn't like it, so I'm back with him. It's something actually helpful of getting someone to shout at you and knowing that you're paying someone to shout at you is even better. And he is on my case like I don't know what because I haven't been in two weeks. I've ate too much rubbish food, I've drank way too much alcohol while I was away and I've just not done any steps. <laughs> So I think today is going to be the turning point of my summer. I'm going to say summer. I'm not going to say life because the life is just up and down. It's a roller coaster. We know this. I hope you're here for it. I don't know if I am, but we're going to make it work. We're going to make today work. Do you know whenever I film these vlogs, I always feel like it's a very copy paste from every other vlog that I do. That is like in the house reset type of day in the life. But you look bloody love them. So I'm gonna keep filming them, even though they literally are copy-based, because everything I do is literally the same. Also, I just wanna add in, because I got a few comments recently saying that I never go out in Dubai. Yes, I know I never go out in Dubai. It's summer, and it's not even full summer yet. It's just like the, the welcome to summer. Bear with me a second. Let me just get the weather up for you. So at the minute, it's 39 degrees Celsius. Don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, right? But you can surely figure that out. The UV is extreme. It's plus 12, right? That means I'm gonna burn. No. And then you go down a little bit more. The humidity is that high. It feels like 44 outside. This is the start of it, by the way. <laughs> in these vlogs from now on, I am going to be that typical English person that complains of the weather. And the reason of saying all this was because no, I don't want to go out. I don't want to go outside. It's too hot. That is why I do not go out in the summer or leading up to summer, end of summer. I might go out every now and then, but that's it. I'm going to sweat walking the gym, by the way. Like, I'm going to get a sweat on before I even go get a sweat on. I'm already sweating. Anyway, that was a tangent and a half, wasn't it? I'm going to sort my gym bag out, top up my water, and I'm going to head the gym, get the workout done, and then I've got so much to do and I have zero energy. Are we surprised? Nope. It's a new day for a high. It's another day to try to get by. And ooh, yeah, I'm feeling now every second, every hour of the day. Mm, yeah. 
I'm back home. Oh my god, that workout was so hard. I think because I've not been in so long, it actually just killed me. Like, I sweated profusely. It was not nice. But then I went to the shop and got some stuff to do a meal prep in a minute, so I'm gonna do that. But before that, I've got something to try. <laughs> so, I watched this girl, and I've watched her for years, called Connor something, I can't remember, she's Australian. She's into fitness and all that. And every vlog that she posts, she has a rice cake with cottage cheese and honey on it. So, I bought myself some rice cakes. I bought myself some low-fat natural cottage cheese. And we're gonna try it, okay? I've already made it. This is <laughs> what it looks like if you've never seen one before. I don't know how I feel about it. We're gonna try this together. I think total, it's like 60 calories. Probably just over with the honey. It's 57 without the honey. Oh my god, I'm actually scared. Okay, let's try this. Mmm. Oh wow. I think I've been sleeping on cottage cheese. Okay, this is actually not that bad. I think I found a new go-to snack. I put way too much honey on it then. I'm gonna go finish my rice cake. And then I'm gonna do some meal prep. I'm not gonna show you because it's the same thing I always make. I'm just gonna make mince, veg and rice. Literally so basic and then I can add sauce to it whenever I eat it. I'm not gonna show you that, but yeah. I'll catch us in a little bit when I decide. This is literally dripping everywhere. I'll catch us in a little bit when I've finished meal prepping. Probably have a shower. Look a bit better than I do right now. <laughs> oh, I really don't wanna do this. But I really need to empty that suitcase. Yeah. It's time, I need to empty the suitcase. Let's do it. I don't pick it up first. Oh, God. Ow. Ow. Why did I pack so much? I didn't even use half of it. Let's put some music on. And since Eminem's new song came out yesterday, I'll listen to that for the 104th time today. That seems like a good idea. Uh, I was Playing from Sophie's son. I'm fully aware this line is everything you are requiring in life right now, but I've literally been stood here for the last 10 minutes arguing with this stupid Google thing because I thought it was a good idea to buy one. I've had it for a while, but it's just Really starting to grind my gears at the minute. Let's try again, shall we? Hey Google, connect to Sophie's iPhone. I don't know, but I found these results on search. It came up with accessories. Hey Google, connect to Sophie's iPhone. This device is already connected to Sophie's iPad. You can ask me to disconnect it. Disconnect. Hey Google, disconnect. Got it. Bluetooth is disconnected. Okay, let's try that again. Hey Google, connect to Sophie's iPhone. Okay, looking for paired devices. Bluetooth is connected to Sophie's iPad. I'm going to lose it with this machine. <laughs> I just want to put some music on so that I can do the dishes. I'm going to lose it in a minute. Am I speaking a different language? Okay, so I finished fighting with whatever her name is, Google, and I've put some washing on. And now I'm just gonna do a quick run over my face because my face feels really like, I don't wanna say dirty, but it doesn't feel clean. I obviously washed it in the shower before when I got back from the gym, but do you know what? You just need to like get some micellar water on it. So basically that's what I'm doing, okay. It is currently 7.45 p.m. and I am, wanting to tap out for the day, honest to God. I feel like I've not done that much, but my body is just tired. I feel so jet lagged and it's very rare 
that I feel jet lagged. I always feel tired. That's just like the inevitable. I always feel tired. But I actually feel jet lagged and it's killing me. But I think it's because this is like the weirdest conversation to have with you while I'm trying to like get waterproof mascara off my face. I went home last weekend and I was home for, I was in the UK for four days or five days. So I, I kind of got used to the time zone, which is great, yeah. And then I came back to Dubai. I was in Dubai for two days and then I flew back to the UK and now I'm back in Dubai and I'm, I'm ready to go to Europe and to New York. So my body is literally all over the shop. Yes, I'm tired because I set my alarm this morning, which I told you about, and then I just turned it off and turned myself over. Didn't even bother trying to get out of bed. So I think I'm just going to call it a night and go to sleep. This is such a, like, a boring vlog, and I'm very much aware of that. I think I need to listen to my body. I also, I think I've hit my head, and I don't know where or when, because I've now got this, like, cut, and it's quite sore. I don't know how I've done that. I didn't hit my head in the gym, so I have no idea. But you can't see the lump, which is good, but it's very sore. So I've definitely hit my head somewhere in the last 24 hours, I'm assuming. Do you know what we can talk about while I'm just finishing off getting ready? I love vlogging, right? This is like a little in-depth into my life right now. I absolutely love vlogging. It's my favorite thing to do. But the last maybe five vlogs that you've seen, I've edited and uploaded on the day because I am so behind with trying to film and getting vlogs out for years. I can't think of any ideas to film. I'm trying not to film so much in work, well, at work or on my layovers, not really at work, but I don't really want to film on my layovers because I'm not going out as much at the minute. So whenever I do go out, I'll take years. I constantly feel like I'm chasing myself with these videos and I have no idea why or how I've got myself in this situation. And it's kind of stressing me out because I'm going away on Wednesday when you're seeing this, I fly somewhere in the world. And I, at the minute I don't have a vlog for Sunday and I don't have time, I don't think, to get one up or to, to do it. So I'm kind of stressing over that. I'm hopefully going to sort something out tomorrow for it, but I, I hate missing uploads. But I also, I have no ideas, like I've literally come to the biggest block of creating content that I've had in the longest time and I don't know how to get out of it and it's stressing me out. Don't know if you care about that. <laughs> and like, I'm letting a few comments get to me and it's really starting to annoy me. Oh, that's your honesty moment. I really need to wash my hair as well, Jesus. I'm gonna do that tomorrow before my flight on Wednesday. While we're here, I've got something to talk to you about. I've got a lot to talk about actually, haven't I, apparently. Good job these are my vlogs. <laughs> this is Book update with Sophie. Yeah, I was supposed to do a dedicated video, but I haven't got enough to say, so it's gonna go in this one for now. If you watched the last vlog, you've seen I was reading this. Clyde finished it last night. Loved it. So good. If you're into a hockey romance, I would recommend. It's good. It's only f close to, f it's 400 pages. Just shy of 400 pages, should I say. It's dual POV, there's ups and downs, there's no third act breakup, which was great because I hate that, but yeah, would recommend. But today, we're moving on to King of Wrath. I bought this in an airport when I was crew somewhere, can't remember. Don't know if I ever told you about the story, but I bought it, seen the title, and I was like, oh, I've seen that everywhere, I want to read it. Picked it up. Where was I? I was somewhere that doesn't speak English, I know that. And then I got on board and I was doing everything that like we need to do before passengers get on board and I was like, hold the phone. I've just bought a book in a country that doesn't speak English. Is this book English? <laughs> Luckily enough, it was. So I have an English book, which is okay. This is the new one that I'm gonna read and I think I'm gonna take this one with me on my trip. I'm trying to get into the more physical books. I've told you this, didn't I, in my last vlog. This one seems good. I've seen loads of like, sneak peeks on Instagram and I've read a little bit on Goodreads about it. I try not to read too much because I don't want other people's opinions on a book to push me one way or the other. So I normally read them all after. This is where we're up to. I've read this and we're moving on to this one. Book update done. I think I'm going to call it quits. I'm going to end the vlog here. Just trying to get my life back in order. I'm very much out of routine right now and it's stressing me out and the fact I'm going away for five days is not helping that but it's part of the job, so we move on, we get over it. We build a bridge and get over it, should I say. 
But yes, that's going to be it for today. I hope you have enjoyed the vlog. Do give it a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!